And hello to you from a city that's never short of style. I'm talking, of course, about the French capital, Paris. We're at the Pat de Pass. I'm Derek Ray, and keeping me company here on the commentary gantry is Stuart Robson. And we're ready to bring you the second leg of this UEFA Champions League semi-final. It's Paris Saint-Germain up against Bayern Munich. Well, Derek, this could be an absolute classic. Yes, PSG have that one goal advantage, but I thought it's a very tight first leg. This could go right to the wire tonight. Saint-Germain. Gianluigi Donnarumma stand the wide midfield positions and the main striker today is Kylian Mbappe. Initial 11 for Bayern. Manuel, not highly versatile, Sadio Mane. And they get the ball rolling in the second leg of this Champions League semi final. Müller and Kimmich. Serge Gnabry, Joshua Kimmich, clean challenge, and Neymar, Neymar preferring the, and the goalkeeper's touch, that was crucial, corner given to PSG, Keen to take it short here. And Lionel Messi has turned infield. Superb block. Ramos. Oh, good work to deny the opportunity. Oh, he's given us away inexplicably. Well, Neymar really is one of the greats in the world game. Stuart, interested in your opinion as far as this match is concerned. What should we expect to see from him? Well, the best players can play in tight areas, and he can certainly play in tight areas, in and around the box. His creativity is excellent. Playing little one-twos, balls round the corner, linking up with other teammates, just to have that little bit of penetration. He's going to be key to breaking down this defence. dealt with by the goalkeeper well, as it stands they're on their way out but a goal here would change everything <laughs> favoring the short one and Mane in the thick of things well they haven't overcome all the difficulties Mane! And a goal, the equaliser. Superb entertainment. Well, here's the replay, and you can see why the manager is furious. It's just really poor play. Offering up possession far too easily in a dangerous area. And at this level, if you keep doing that, you're going to get punished. It's just not good enough. So, 1-1 one, one it is on aggregate. Sadio Mane! 
This might have potential. Neymar! Oh, that is a superb save. Mane. Well, visionary passing. And a goal! That could make all the difference. They'll be determined not to lose this lead. Let's have a look at the replay. What a through ball this is by Mane. But should the keeper be beaten at his near post? I don't think so. He really needs to do better in those situations. is the aggregate lead. Lionel Messi. Determined defending. And it's gone behind for the corner. And the short option preferred. As clean as a whistle, that challenge. Mane. And that's going to roll all the way through. Hakimi. And snuffing out the danger. So two minutes of stoppage time here. Lionel Messi being egged on by the crowd. Oh, that's a fine save. Delivery from Neymar. Relatively straightforward to mop up defensively. And so the half-time whistle has gone here at the Parc des Princes in... And they're underway in the second half of this Champions League semi-final second leg. Jamal Musiala. Lucas Hernandez. Sadio Mane now. Take it away. Kylian Mbappe. Mbappe. Müller distributing magnificently. Is it going to be? He scored once already and close to making it a double. Well, every time he gets on the ball, he looks a real danger today. Now, how about the short corner? And he cuts inside. And just narrowly wide. Well, it's a good effort from that range, but I think the keeper had it covered. Oh. 
Hakimi. So a half an hour remaining. And giving it away. Good use of advantage by the referee. In Mane. And with that, they've thwarted the opportunity. Given away by Bayern Munich. Messi. Verratti now. Well, possibilities in the centre. Well, he'll take efforts like that all day long. Mbappe. Firing it towards goal. The save was a good one. Gives it a go. Oh, really commanding goalkeeping. Who can they pick out? Ten minutes left for play. A bit sloppy in possession. Hakimi. Mbappe. Good-looking sequence. Might it be Mbappe? Well, just watch this again. It's a really good goal, but it's no surprise, is it? They've been in complete control here. Overall, in this tie, it is 2-2. A free-kick decision going the way of Bayern. Well, the referee might have been tempted to reach for his pocket, but wasn't. Well, it's a foul, but not a bad one. A warning is just about the right decision. Well, a goal at this late stage might end up being a winner. That's keeper getting the touch. Well, nothing comes of it. And that was a move of great promise. They could easily have been in. They cannot be separated here. And it's on to extra time. Well, back on the way here. And it's quite simple. Both teams must steal themselves for 30 extra minutes. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Well, PSG could get in behind the defence. Decided to come in from the flank. Well, the fans are begging for a shot. And a goal! And now they're in control of the situation. Can they see this through? Well, as you can see, he's a dangerous runner with the ball. He has such good balance and pace. That's a top-class goal, isn't it? Stands at 3-2. Difficult to stop him. Sané. 
Wonderful chance. Not an attempt that will live long in the memory. Well, what a waste that is. It's far too easy for the keeper. Room to manoeuvre on the wing. But they dealt with the threat posed. Half time in extra time, and still they are level. Well, they haven't overcome all their difficulties. And so, 15 more minutes. We're into the second period of extra time here. Well, beating his opponent. Roberto Sanchez. And it's in as they tighten their grip on the tie. Here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease. And it's just a change of pace. But he's still got so much work to do. Just look at the strength he shows to hold off the defender and still get his shot away. That's a really good finish. Goals galore on aggregate. 4-2 is the lead. Pablo Sarabia. But a shocking pass, really. And Neymar. It's Neymar. Oh, that's textbook goalkeeping. It's Neymar's corner. PSG struggling to keep the ball. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? All hands on deck. Well, it fizzled out. And one minute of stoppage time has been added on. The referee's whistle for full time, and Paris Saint-Germain will be in the final. Well, there'll be some tired bodies out there. That was a tough couple of games, and of course, extra time as well. But they're through to the final, and I think they deserve to be there. They were so strong in that extra period. What a final it should be.